Hello, my name is Anubhav and today in this video, I will talk about AWS route table enhancement that enabled Cisco secure firewall insertion really easy in, in a VPC. I'll start off with the problem description, what kind of problem we had earlier with the earlier version of route table. And then I'll talk about recent updates AWS made to their route table. And in the end, I have a short demo to demonstrate what exactly uh, is the new enhancement. So if you look at this architecture on the right hand side, I have a VPC and side the range for that VPC is 1082.00/16. On uh, right hand side, I have a trusted network uh, 1082.100.0 and on left hand side, I have another subnet, untrusted subnet 1082.200.0/24. And I want to place firewall between these two subnets. Earlier, there was no option to add a specific route in the route table because uh, more specific route, route always used to overlap with the VPC side of range. The moment you create your VPC, there is a local route installed and there was no way to get around that. If you uh, were to add firewall between the two subnets, you had to add routes on your host, which was not a scalable model. Uh, so it was really difficult for us to enable such insertion where I want to place firewall between two subnets within the same VPC, it was really difficult. So what AWS did recently, they have enabled that feature where you can add routes in the route table that has a more specific route. So if you look at this particular architecture, uh, now I can add a route, I can create a route table on the untrusted network that that has the destination for 1082.100.0 slash 24 and I point it to ENI of my firewall uh, and ENI A in this case is the untrusted untrusted interface so what I'm saying here is if you want to reach trusted a trusted network your next hop is 1082 sorry your next hop is ENI A now on the other side I have a trusted network same kind of route I have added there as well. If you want to reach untrusted network, your next hop is ENIB. So when you will log into your route table, you will your route tables will look something like this, where you have your destination pointing to uh, ENIB for uh, untrusted network, which is 1082.200.0/24, and on the untrusted route table, I have a route that points to ENIA for the network 1082.100.0. So let's quickly look at the demo model here. So what, what kind of architecture I have for this particular demo. So I have created a VPC attached transit gateway, created multiple subnets in my VPC like management subnet, which is not shown in this architecture. In the management subnet, I have my Firepower Management Center that is managing my Cisco Secure Firewall or Firepower Threat Defense. And then I have Diagnostic Interface where I have one more interface of this, this firewall placed. Uh, the other two interfaces which, uh, which are my data interfaces uh, are in the uh, in the actual data, data plane subnet. So I have one subnet, uh, one interface added to trusted side, one subnet on the untrusted side, and in the route table, I have route for uh, respective subnets, and, I, I, and, and the next hop for my routes is either ENIA or ENIB, uh, depending upon uh, from where I'm initiating the traffic. With this, let's go ahead and quickly jump into AWS. Uh, console and I'll show you what exactly I have and I will also show you my Cisco secure firewall configuration Okay, I'm now in AWS console and I'm looking at EC2 instances Now if you look at EC2 instances, what I have is 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 a FTD with four interfaces one uh, in uh, the first one is in management interface second interface is in a diagnostic and then I have one interface going to trusted side and one on the untrusted side. I have two Linux machines, uh, one on the trusted side and other one is on the untrusted side. Untrusted machine is 1082.200.200 and trusted machine is 1082.100.200.
I have a firepower management center and firepower management center is managing my uh, firepower threat defense or next generation firewall or Cisco secure firewall, whatever you, you want to call it. Um, but the latest name for this device is Cisco secure firewall. Now, let me uh, quickly take you to Firepower Management Center where I can show you devices that I have in my Firepower Management Center. So I have one device in the routed mode here, uh, which is, uh, uh, let me click on this one here. Quickly, it has two interfaces, trusted and untrusted, and I also have security zone trusted and untrusted. So let me quickly go back to my EC2 instances and uh, quickly uh, browse to VPC and I'll show you routes there. So I'll click on route table. So I I'll go to trusted route table and uh, trusted RT has a route for 1082.200.0. That is my untrusted network. And this ENI is ENI of the firewall. Similarly, on the untrusted side, I have route for 1082.100.0 slash 24, and this network is my trusted network, and I point, I'm pointing it to ENI of my firewall. So on the firewall, I'm using two data interfaces, trusted and untrusted, and destination for my subnets is, instead of IP, we need to use ENI ID. Now, let's go ahead and quickly uh, look at uh, my policies here. I have a plain simple policy uh, which which has one target there and I have allowed everything. Because this is a demo I just want to show you uh, that we can pass traffic through the firewall rather than securing the network. So I just want to tell you what is the traffic flow, how this route table enhancement is helping you insert a firewall quickly in your um, AWS VPC. So with this, I will quickly uh, jump into my terminal and let me let me show you what exactly is happening. So on the uh, on, on the on the trusted side, I have initiated a ping for untrusted side and and on the other side as well from trusted to untrusted. Now I can quickly uh, go to my uh, logs here, uh, so events, I can show you that we see this traffic coming to the firewall. So firewall is inspecting this traffic. So uh, so what we have done in this demo is added a firewall in, in, the, uh, in between two subnets, trusted and untrusted, and then added more specific routes in a route table to route traffic back to the firewall. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.